Hello and welcome to our virtual class. My name is Tatiana Scutaru and I teach at Miguel de Cervantes Lyceum. Our lesson today is at the railway station that you can find in your books on pages 78 and 79. Now you have to take your books, copy books, vocabularies to have a good work. Ready? So what we are going to do today? We are going to learn some new words and to talk about some means of transport, to practice the new vocabulary in exercises and to listen to a dialogue and complete it. So what do you see in these pictures? Yeah, you are right. We have some means of transport. But do you know what are your favorite ways of traveling? And it's necessary to know, remember, when we talk about ways of traveling, we should use the preposition by and not with, like by car, by ship, by train, by bus, by bicycle, and on foot. So it's your turn now to think, what is your favorite ways of traveling using these expressions? Pause. Now you are back. So we have to continue. We have another question here. Do you know why do people travel? And how often do you travel? Yeah, we have to think about this. Let's think together. So we think that many people travel, first of all, to study a foreign language, to learn the history, the culture, also to make friends, to learn customs, traditions, to visit some interesting places too. Why not to meet some people, to see the sights, and of course, to explore new places. Have you thought about this? Why do you travel? And when we want to answer how often do you travel, we have to use some frequency adverbs, like I travel every year or summer, once a year or annually, twice, two times a year, or three times a year, or more than four times a year, or when is it possible? Okay, we have to think. We travel every year. Now it's time to learn the new vocabulary. And you have to be ready and attentive and pronounce after me, okay? The first word is bookstool. Then, porter. Railway station, refreshment room, waiting room, bun, luggage, sleeper, journey, catch a train, arrive in, arrive at, now we have the words together. Let's read together once again. Bookstore, porter, railway station, refreshment room, waiting room, bun, luggage, sleeper, journey, arrive in, at, catch a train. Now you can choose two new words from here and make up your own sentences, okay? Pause. Now we have to listen to a, a dialogue and you have to complete with the missing words. You have to be ready, okay? So, ready to listen to the dialogue? Four tickets to London, please. Single or return? 
return. Is it an express? Yes, it is. Would you like tickets in the sleeper? Yes, please. How much should I pay? 20 pounds. Here is the money. What time do you get to London? At 11 p.m. Here are the tickets. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Goodbye. Now you are back and I think that you managed to complete the dialogue. If you need, you can come back and listen to me once again and do the exercise. So let's see the right answer. Mr. Taylor wants tickets to London. Mr. Taylor buys four tickets. Mr. Taylor pays 20 pounds. The tailors will travel by an express train and they will arrive in London at 11 p.m. Right, you were wonderful on this exercise. Let's continue. We have another dialogue, but a different one. You have to arrange the sentences to make up a dialogue. So, be attentive, read, and complete. Good luck. Pause. Now you are back. It means that again you managed to do the exercise. Let's see, were you right or no? So, the dialogue is, one ticket to Bristol, please, single or return? Single, is it an express? No, it's a stopping train. What time do we get to Bristol? At 6.15 p.m. How much should I pay? 11 pounds. Here is the money. Here is the ticket. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Goodbye. I think that next time when you go traveling, you'll know how to use a good expression, also a new vocabulary that we studied today. I think that you enjoyed the lesson and what have you done today? We learned some new words and talked about some means of transport. We practiced the new vocabulary and exercises and we listened to a dialogue and completed it. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Goodbye. Okay.